And the weather today was perfect for thousands of runners to hit the DC streets for the rock and roll half marathon. Our Randy Ayala talked to runners and has more on what's new with this year's race. Well, more than 17,000 people have signed up to run today. It's the biggest number for rock and roll DC since 2017. Braving the cold. Ready to run for DC's rock and roll half marathon. This is Regina Fleming's first year participating, but she's no beginner when it comes to running. So I finished all the world marathons, so I'm called a six star finisher and everyone said what's next and I said um, I'm going to run all 50 states. Runners either complete a 5K or half marathon, all while enjoying live music to pump them up throughout. This year's Rock and Roll DC adding two new additions to the course. We're lucky to have this opportunity to be able to cross back over Memorial Bridge over towards Arlington and then come back. We're finishing on Pennsylvania Avenue and uh, 4th, 4th Street. So we're just super excited about that opportunity to finish in front of the Capitol. Some of these runners are part of St. Jude's Heroes. They raise money for the Children's Cancer Hospital while training before the big day, like Anne Marie Brock, who raised over $3,000. Kind of gives a meaning to the run. I'm not a great runner at all. However, However, I'm a really, really, really good fundraiser, and that's way more important. I walk up to eight miles every day. That's how 81-year-old Wilma King says she prepares for her races. She's here with her daughter. The duo has been participating in this half marathon since 2014. It's extremely special. I'm 81 years old, and she doesn't want her age told. So this is a, the, the, a mother-daughter team who keeps doing it. I asked her if she wanted to bow out of this, and she just told me this morning, I'll do it as long as you do it. In Northwest, Randy Ayala, WUSA 9.